to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Tuesday, February 28th of 2023. In his accountability speech before the National Congress, when referring to the Haitian situation, President Luis Abinader proposed the entire leadership of the country, a national agreement to outline the policy towards Haiti and defend national sovereignty. More than half of the 79 pages of President Luis Abinader's third speech before Congress were dedicated to outlining what the government considers to be achievements in economic matters during this administration. The president began by reviewing the annual growth of 4.9% of the gross domestic product obtained in 2022, growth that he said is higher than the average for Latin America and that the country has surpassed Ecuador in GDP, making it the seventh largest economy in Latin America. The virtual presidential candidate of the Dominican Liberation Party, Abel Martinez, criticized that many of the important issues for the country were omitted by the president and that the treaties are not reflected in the lives of most vulnerable. The blocks of senators and representatives of the Fuerza del Pueblo Party yesterday described President Luis Abinader's accountability speech as a re-election proclamation full of statistical manipulations, full of exaggerations and half-trust. The president announced the launch starting next school year of the Security Baccalaureate, which will mean the generation of a pool of young people who will be able to start a police career with greater preparation. When addressing the issue of health, the head of a state highlighted the strain of the country's public health coverage and network and highlighted as encouraging data the decrease of more than 40% in maternal mortality achieved in public hospitals in relation to the figures of 2021. The errors of re-election were felt yesterday in and around the National Congress by groups that demanded that President Luis Abinader opt for a new renomination for the 2024 elections. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.